our God, who now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Christ our God, we look forward to you, Heavenly King, come from the Spirit of Truth. You who are everywhere and fill us all things, treasure and blessing and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain. Save our souls, O gracious Lord.
and to those who sought my life were urged on, while those who wished me else but flies plotting deception all the day long. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not, as a dumb man and openeth not my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing, and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. I said, Oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who bluster mightily when my feet stumbled. As for me, I am ready to be scorched, and my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who, rendering evil for good, opposed me when I sought but justice. O Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. In you, O Lord, have I placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. Hasten to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you. My soul has thirsted for you, and oh, how my flesh has hungered for you. Like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled as with choices fair, and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you, I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and to be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals shall they be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find the light. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day and by night have I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble, and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down into the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead. Like the slain left to fly in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deepest abyss, into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me loathsome to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes were dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day long. I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead? Or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O oh Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O oh Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high and humbled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day long. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances, so wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day and by night have I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, lend your ear to my request, O Lord. 
Bless the Lord, O my soul. May all that is within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forgets not all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his wills, will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens send over the earth, so far has the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed. He remembers we are only made of dust. A man, his days resemble grass. As a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone. And never again shall he know his place. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity, and to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children, of those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Over all things his, king, all things, his kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer. In your truthfulness, give heed to my plea. And in your righteousness, answer me. And enter not into judgment with your servant, since of all the living, none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down. He has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recalled the days of old. I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hands to you. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord. My spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me lest I be like those that go down into the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way wherein I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from mine enemies. It is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirits lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction. And in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies. And bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer. In your truthfulness, give heed to my plea. And in your righteousness, answer me. May your good spirits lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord. Glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord, for the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord, for this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, and reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Alexios, the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, for 
the President for all in public service. Let us pray to the Lord. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, for this parish and city and for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times let us pray to the Lord for those who travel by land sea and air for the sick the suffering the captives and for their salvation let us pray to the Lord for our deliverance from all affliction wrath danger and necessity let us pray to the Lord upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages.
Άγιο Πεπογημένη εν δόξα τη φίνηση Μόντε, τόκου και αή παθαίνουν Μαρία. Με τα πάντα των Αγίων ημονεύσαντε. Εαυτού καρυλού και πάσαν την ζωή μόν. Χριστό το Θεό.
Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages.
God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the third Orcus and ever Virgin Mary. The power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, whose memory we keep today, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the Merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Myra, Spiridon, Bishop of Tamethus, Nectarius of Pentopolis, the Wonder Workers, the Holy, Glorious, Great Martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Merflowing, Theodore the Tyrant, Theodore the Commander, Minas the Wonder Worker, and Eletherius and Hadalambus the Higher Martyrs, the Holy, Glorious, Great Martyrs, Thakma Babar, Anastasia, Katarini, Kiriaki, Fortani, Marina, Patiskevi, and Irini, of our holy God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Yochim and Anna, and of all your saints, we beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us.
the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages.
proclamation went forth into all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Cross Brethren, remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their lives. imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Do not be led away by diverse and strange teachings, for it is well that the heart be strengthened by grace, not by foods which have not benefited their adherence. We have an altar from which those who serve the tent have no right to eat. For the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest as a sacrifice for sin are burned outside the camp. So Jesus also suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. Therefore, let us go forth to him outside the camp and bear the abuse he endured. For here we have no lasting city, but we seek the city which is to come. Through him, then, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God that is the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Peace be unto you, the reader.
the Lord our God remember all of us in his kingdom now and forever unto the ages of ages.
Sida sent Sophia across from it. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light and light, true God and true God, begotten and not created one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us on the Pontius Pilate, and he suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to bless the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and in the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well. Let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Deep was phenomenon at the bond of 
unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. And grant us that with boldness and without condemnation to dare to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages.
people and bless your inheritance.
And you know, we all have favorites. We have our favorite TV show, we have our favorite movie, our favorite person. And what was happening in the time of the three hierarchs, some like St. Basil only, some like St. John Chrysostom only, and others like St. Gregory the Theologian. And then they started having names, the Basilians, for those who uh, love St. Basil, and the Johannes, for those who love uh, St. Uh, John, and then the, the, the Gregorians, who love St. Gregory. And the church saw there were no favorites among the three because they all spoke the mind of the church of Christ. So this service today was incorporated to show that they were one voice, the three individuals, but the one voice that celebrated the uh, theology of the church. So there are no favorites with the three hierarchs. They are all favorites among the church. So God bless you. You come forward and may you receive your vida and have a safe and blessed day. The three was great for me.